So we decided to put in a rainwater collection system for our garden this year. My parents had this 500 gallon tank sitting around that had been out for, I don't know, years that they hadn't been using. So they were kind enough to donate it to the cause. It's a uh, clearish plastic. It was kind of a mess on the inside. There had been no top on it. There were a lot of leaves and such in it. So we get all that cleaned out, which you'll see here in a little bit. But I've got two downspouts on the edge of the house there, and we're going to tie in initially to one of them, then use a sump pump to run it over to the main garden here. And we're going to be putting in a 1,500-gallon tank over there, so we'll be using a pump from the 500-gallon to run the water over to the 1,500-gallon tank. And we're hoping for some rain soon so we can give this sucker a uh, test run and see how it works out. Uh, we've got here a skid steer on the farm, affectionately known as the bee, and uh, folks are kind enough to let us use that. So I've got here a scoop full of the road base gravel, which we're going to use as a base for the 500-gallon tank. Uh, we've got it on the edge of the house, and there's a little bit of a slope, so we're going to put in some edging once we've got the gravel down and leveled so it doesn't go everywhere. The road base is also soft enough to where we can put the tank on there and not have to worry about the gravel puncturing in from the bottom. There's your gratuitous slow-mo on putting the gravel down. The skid steer really does come in handy around the farm. Uh, we're going to wind up doing another video with some of the different implements and attachments that we've got on there because, man, we use that thing oh several times a week easily. So here comes the fun part of raking and leveling. It did take a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I think I ended up speeding this video up something along the orders of uh, 20x to fit that in. I had some concern that the gravel might wash away in the rain, especially with a little bit of a slope there. So got some stone and just made a base around it. Uh, then we did the final raking out and then moved the tank over and did a test fit. And it was dirty on the inside. Ended up using a shop vac to clean it out, sprayed a lot of water in it, used a shop vac again, got it as clean as we could on the inside, and then the spelunking began. Spelunking anyone? This was not the brightest of ideas, although it did get clean. I managed to get inside the tank and used a hose and some towels to scrub out the inside. However, uh, shortly after this little clip was taken, I went back in to finish up and I ended up blowing out my left knee. So we now have a new rule at the house, no climbing in tanks. I got the tank moved over to the base, then started pulling the drain pipe down from the gutter. Ended up replacing it with three Flexa Spout extensions. Picked those up at Home Depot. Uh, they extend out to about 55 inches each. So tied those together, tied it into the gutter, and now we've got a way to get water from the roof into the tank. I picked up a roll of fiberglass screen as a cover, cut a slot into it, which allowed the hose to go in. I ended up changing. I was using paracord here, but switched over to bungee cord because the paracord just did not work at all. Thank you so much for watching our video on setting up the 500 gallon tank. Please stay tuned for our next video. We're going to be putting together a 1500 gallon tank next to the garden. And then the video after that, we'll be tying them all together and transferring the water. Thank you so very much for watching. We appreciate you. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to our Patreon. We'd love to have you over there. You can start out as a chicken herder. Check us out at patreon.com slash Farms. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.